Thomas Gibbs at the Wildwood Trust, and I asked him what they were hoping to accomplish by reintroducing the bison into the West Bleen woodland. What is it that you're hoping to do here with the bison? Essentially, the, the bison are going to offer us a nature-based solution to the, the climate and biodiversity crisis. Um, what we're hoping is that they're going to go into West Bleen woods, an area of ancient woodland, and help us to restore it to its ancient uh, you know, form of glory. Um, and we really hope that through their behaviours that they'll create a lovely rich mosaic of habitats that are all connected and support the most amount of wildlife possible. Primarily they are intermediate grazers, they browse and they graze, so that means that they'll be going around, they'll uh, looking for food. By doing that they'll be punching through the understory because of their size and their physique, creating lovely corridors which allow sunlight to come down to the ground, which helps lesser competitive plants to, to come through, which is great for pollinators and other species. They're also fantastic because they like to rub up against uh, trees to remove their fur and they also debark the trees which helps to create these fantastic areas of deadwood, fantastic for bats and uh, woodpeckers and they also like to dust bathe to remove parasites and this is also great because that creates space for invertebrates and things like lizards as well. And can you describe briefly how bison mites bring carbon back into the soil? In the UK, something like 30% of our, our terrestrial carbon is stored in high uh, value conservation areas. And by restoring an area like the, uh, the Bleen, where we've had non-native conifers put in, which help, uh, you know, damages the, the, sort of the soil, the delicate soil balance there, which stores a huge amount of carbon, we're hoping that these natural processes, rather than big heavy machineries, which come in, again, further cause compaction and disturbance to the soil, we're hoping that the bison will start to do this on a natural, via natural processes over a, 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 you know, a longer time scale and that in, uh, in turn this will help to draw carbon back in. Uh, there's evidence that they were here 12,000 years ago but this would have been the ancient steppe bison of which the European bison is the closest relative. Um, so they fulfil similar ecological niches um, and that's why they're so fantastic because they'll be uh, basically doing um, what the, the steppe bison were doing a, a long time ago but restoring these wonderful habitats. You can see from its physique, it's, it's sort of front heavy. So you have, if you imagine from the front to the middle to the rear, the front of the bison, you've got these fantastic horns, um, you've got quite a big broad face, um, and just basically very, very stocky and strong and powerful, which allows them to basically punch through and, and basically get into areas that other uh, species can't get into. Then you've got the middle where obviously they'll be doing dust bathing, so then they sort of slightly more slimmer towards the rear, so they'll be going in, dust bathing and creating these lovely dust baths. And then from the rear side, you've got the dung, which is another fantastic resource for, for you know, insects. Um, and uh, we're really hoping that that in turn will you know, support species that are in decline as well. We're aiming to release the bison um, in spring 2022, and we're looking at four to five individuals. Um, over time, we're hoping that these individuals will breed, um, which will help us to work out the, the balance of bison to the habitat and what the, the habitat can support. Um, and over time, then we hope to the, roll out this project to other sites and potentially use these bison on other sites as well, which is a fantastic opportunity. So it's, it's really important here in the Wild Bleen project um, to engage with the community um, and the public. We're really looking to reconnect uh, people to these wild uh, animals and wilder spaces because sadly here in the UK we live in one of the most nature depleted countries in the world. Um, so really we're looking to try and re-establish that connection and um, to show that people and, and animals and wildlife and nature can coexist and it is actually a very beneficial relationship to both, um, to both parties. So really we just can't wait to start getting people in and just getting them inspired. Um. Thank you very much Tom for that really really exciting project going on here. If you've been inspired by that story come down to Wildwood to meet the bison in person and keep following us on climatechallenge.live, YouTube and all the socials.